At times, thanks to the Lord's mercy, I managed to free my soul from those games that have stolen it. So I end up wandering in the depths of steam, searching, sometimes for hours, for the spark in the darkness. Very positive. It's a space sim. It has exploration. And even VR. It's the real Santa, praise Jesus! So today I want to talk to you about this little gem that is Evochron Legacy. Creating your pilot profile, you will be given the choice to choose a starting role in the game. They are pretty self-explanatory, except for mercenary, which is a little misleading as it starts with no special equipment, but with more money than the other roles. I was of course tricked and chose mercenary, thinking it was for bounty hunting. <laughs> Thankfully, there is a well-detailed tutorial available in the game that explains how to operate the ship, and after completing it, I launched myself into the game. You will need to spend around one hour just to learn to fly your ship efficiently in this game, because <laughs> it's far from being easy. Believe me. So, okay, so this button for navigation, okay. What about this is shooting? What about this? No, 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 no! Like me, you will have to spend some time in the K configuration menu. E After being a little bit more comfortable with the controls, I docked at my first station. Skipping the classic commodity list for trading, I looked into the list of missions available as it is in general a good way in space games to get some easy credit at the beginning. And I must say, there is a great variety of missions available, from booty hunting to cargo delivery, racing and even biosampling. So I took a mission about destroying some asteroids that are blocking a path. It shouldn't be too difficult, as Bruce Lee famously said, asteroids do not hit back, correct? <laughs> Uh, I have absolutely no idea where I should go. Mm, I guess this pink mark is where I need to go. Seems logic because that's the only mark I have on the map. So I guess I will try. Contract objectives failed. <laughs> So I just checked on Google and apparently missions about destroying asteroids are taking place in asteroid fields. Oh. It sounds logic, so I guess this one is on me. So the asteroids are there, so I guess it's pretty forward that I just have to shoot them. It seems I need to get closer. So am I close enough now? I'm not sure my shots are doing anything. Oh yes, look! The asteroid is getting red. And now it's exploding! Very nice! Asteroid 1 of 20 destroyed. Okay, so it's pretty simple. The flight system in Evochron is based on Newtonian physics. Yes, yeah, science! Requiring significantly more anticipation and precision for maneuvering compared to the World War II style plane movement models often found in more arcade like space games. Oh, I'm coming too fast, I'm coming too fast! To the right, to the right! <laughs> I dodged it! <laughs> well, that's a bummer. After this unfortunate failure, and to stay in the theme of asteroids, I dwell into asteroid mining. Evochrome mining is a classic endeavor with some exquisite side features. You require a mining beam to extract precious ore and materials from space rock to sell them. However, like any game that doesn't hold your hand, you must stay sharp to avoid disaster. Now that my cargo is full, I need to find a place to sell my stuff. There is an economy system in the game, and I should be able to find on the map which station offers the best price. I have no idea where I can find the info. I guess I will have to ask Google again. What 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 is happening, Misa? What? Boy, 
Evochron offers other possibilities to optimize your time mining. There is a system to hire other pilots to join your fleet, where of course they will help you to fight, but in addition to that, you can order your fleet to help you mine. And if this is not enough, you can deploy a mining probe that will also gather ore for you. After earning some credits, you will quickly be drawn in by the first for upgrading your vessel. And in this aspect, Evocron truly shines in my opinion. The options for upgrades, outfitting and equipment configurations are vast. You can, provided you have the materials for, customize the range, damage, fire rate and energy consumption of your weapons to your liking. The same applies to the ship itself. Not only do you have a wide selection of thrusters, modules and wings to choose from, but the frame can also be tweaked to modify the number of hardpoints, hull thickness, reactor outputs to your preference. Additionally, all elements can be customized aesthetically to some extent. <laughs> Look at this design, huh? nice isn't it? You can also find around the galaxy blueprints to unlock other upgrades for your ships. In summary, enough to keep you busy a long time. In combat, there's nothing too fancy about the weaponry. It's quite straightforward, with two main types, beams and particles. Beams are great at dealing with shields, while particles excel against hurls. Additionally, you can use missiles, which are extremely powerful. They are available for purchase at stations. Players also have the option to target enemy subsystems if they wish, but careful, enemies can do the same to you. Ship's shields are divided into four, front, back, left and right, each one being independent. You can manage to transfer energy from one side to another instantly. There is even an option to distribute shield equally to all sides. Which breaks the shield system for me, because instant transfer means that, in the end, the shield is virtually one unit without any distinctions between sides. Indeed, why would you ever let one side without protection? In my opinion, it could benefit from some reworking. Technical aspect aside, the feeling of combat is okay. Not the greatest I had from all the space game I played, but it is enjoyable. Not great, not terrible. Moving on from combat, for a much more relaxing gameplay experience, Evocron also offers the opportunity for station building. Various modules are available, each providing its own stats and function, similar to any NPC station. Only one resource is necessary, metal, which can be either bought or mined. Your station will produce its own goods, participate in the galaxy economy and grant you dividends as well as services discounts based on its economic prosperity. Additionally, you'll need to construct shield modules and defense turrets to protect your station from attacks by hostile factions. There are of course different rules to follow for station building to properly power the modules, shield its structure and ensure it works properly. However, nothing is extremely complicated, so anyone can easily grasp the mechanics of building and enjoy the gameplay. Even if Evercron Legacy has quite simple graphics, which means it can literally run on a potato, I'm a potato, the game offers diverse and interesting space events and environments like planetary surfaces, nebulas, comets, gas giants and more. Planets feature landscapes with oceans, lakes, vegetation, life forms, as well as surface settlements with all station features and specific missions. Oops. Shout out to the seamless planetary entry, devoid of any visible loading screens, which is great for immersion. Avionics switched to planetary mode. 
Evochrome offers much more content than what was described in this video and is, without a doubt, a great game. It also features multiplayer, but unfortunately, since I have no friends to play with, I haven't been able to try it out. Hello darkness, my old friend. The game provides a full VR experience compatible with most common headsets on the market. Thanks to its simple graphics, it runs smoothly even on older or weaker computer setups. The game is fully compatible with HOTAS, with my Logitech X56 HOTA setup, including its thrust lever and rudder pedals, I had no issue playing the game. Evocron Legacy was developed by only one person, which truly astonishes me considering the depth of its mechanics. And as if creating a great game with multiplayer and VR wasn't enough, Star Wave 3D Games, the developer of Evocron Legacy, has even launched an alpha version of the game on Google Play for Android. My god, dude, chill out. Stop drilling. We already struck gold thanks to you. So maybe one day, I hope, I will see you in the universe of Evocron Legacy. In the meantime, my dear pilots, I wish you to fly safe and may the stars guide you on your journey.